What's up, man? It's your big brother, K Reno. Check this out, um, boys and girls. We want to talk about today, man. Um, something that we cover from time to time, but uh, just to reiterate it and push it. We touch on it during other topics, but I want to focus on this as the main topic, and that is understanding the difference between a person's actions and a person's intentions. Um, because they are not meshed together all the time. Sometimes they are. You got good people that do good things for the right reasons, but you have other people who will do good things that seem to be good on the surface, or they may be good, but they're doing it for a, another intention or an ulterior motive that they might have, and we're just trying to kind of get into how to determine the difference. You may not be able to detect the difference um, early on, like if you're just meeting somebody and they're doing this and doing that, you kind of got to fill them out. But trust and believe that over time, you'll start to see because people will do things for you and sooner or later, if they have motives behind it that, that are not in your best interest, they'll reach back out to you and say, hey man, um, remember that day when I such and such and such and that? Oh yeah, uh-huh. Man, I was thinking, man, if you could then, you know, and it's like, okay, he was setting that up to get to this point. You know, they were trying to build up some shady uh, equity, you know, in y'all's friendship or relationship. But um, some people you've been knowing all your life, some people you've been knowing for years, and you just know that's how they are. And it creates that level of, of speculation where if you see them do something good, you go, wait a minute. Nah, I know this cat. Mm -mm. You know, so it's just about having your antenna up. You know, it's not even about um, necessarily uh, checking the person or fighting them or anything like that. It's because once you recognize how a person is, really the responsibility is on you to separate yourself from that person. You know, you be the, the fool to keep hanging around them and keep being around them and, and allowing yourself to be um, caught up in whatever wave that, that they're catching people up in. But the other aspect to this is when you are on the outside looking in and you recognize that somebody close to you, a, a friend, a family member, whoever, they may be being victimized by a person who has ulterior motives. You know, you say, well, hey man, this, this guy's um, dating my sister and all of a sudden you know every time I look up my sister is, 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 is giving him money and taking care of him and bailing him out of situations but it may have started out where he was just coming off as this great guy and he was doing things but it was just a, a setup a prelude to get to where he is right now with your with your people and it's a fine line between trying to let somebody know that's close to you that hey this person might not be the best for you because you can see things that they may not see when you're on the outside of it and sometimes they may be blinded by the feeling the emotion that they feel in because of how they feel about that person so um it's it's real tricky man it's real tricky um you just have to get a game up the best you can because people will get upset with you if you recognize um, shadiness in somebody that they're dealing with and they don't recognize it and then you try to point it out to them, sometimes man, they'll get upset with you. You know, they'll cut you off and, and think that you are, are jealous. They'll think you're hating. They'll, think, they'll apply all of those labels just not understanding. And um, unfortunately, in those situations, you know, you, you depend on how serious it is, you got to pull back and let time Show them what the business is, you know, because eventually time will. And, and when time does, you just got to hope that they recognize it the first time and, and move on from it. So everything that look good ain't always good. Everything that glitter ain't gold. And we got to know the difference between um, actions and motives. It's not about, it's not 100% about what a person does 
but it is 100% about why they do it. So if it's your big brother, K. Reno, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Peace.